Today is December the 1st and it is Saturday so I'm going Christmas shopping with my mother but before I do so I do have one thing that I need to do and that is to open my Lindt chocolate calendar. I've been waiting for this so let's do this. Mm. Ooh. This is actually my one of my favorites, so that was a good start to the month. Now, I could eat this one right now, but I think I'm going to restrain myself and save it for tonight when I'm home and ready to get cozy with my book and some Netflix and then also my chocolate. But what a splendid thing to look forward to every single day throughout December. I just finished watching the Love, Simon movie and it was so sweet so that now I just have to read the book and also read the second book which is Leah on the offbeat. Let me just check here. I for sure have to binge read the heck out of those two books now here in December. I hope that even though I order both books from the library that I will get the first book first and the second book Second, sometimes it happens in the reverse order. I finished Vengeful by V.E. Swap late last night and it wasn't anything extraordinary. I think that my reading tastes have changed a lot since I read the first book, Vicious. I liked Vicious quite a lot, but this one was just a three star read for me. I feel like it was interesting enough and it was still fascinating to read about superheroes, basically and how their mentality around their powers work but towards the end it became very much plot driven and very much like young adult even though it's not really too targeted towards young adult i think so i lost focus and interest and it kept on dragging this is almost 600 pages long so yeah, it's a three star read for me and I do kind of regret having bought this book because it's not something I'm going to keep on to for years and years to come. My cat has taken my blanket so I had to get myself another one. Hi. Life of a cat owner. I was looking for that perfect Christmas book that would get me in the mood and be cozy to read over the holidays, even though it's not Christmas yet. But I found this book, which turned out to be exactly what I was in the mood for. This is Seven Days of Us by Francesca Hornack. It's definitely not a perfect story. It's a story with its share of flaws and I did find it somewhat predictable. But I just think it was one of those books that I read at the perfect time. And so I really, really enjoyed myself reading this. It got me in the mood for Christmas and I ended up giving it four stars. So definitely a book I do recommend. Just beware that it is not perfect, but it will definitely give you those Christmassy feelings. I am rushing around to get ready to film a video before it gets too dark. Need I remind you, it's only 3 p.m. right now and really, really not dark yet, but pretty close. Here is the stack of books I'm going to be talking about. And here is Zeus wanting to play. Ooh. <laughs> I am done filming and now I get to, well, I need to pee first. Then I get to enjoy this one and get a cup of coffee, edit my video and then the thing I'm the most excited about today which is to watch the last episode of The Curious Adventures of Sabrina which is on Netflix and I've become kind of addicted. So it's bittersweet that it's the last show but I've been looking forward to it all day. And also there is a Christmas episode coming out next week which is perfect for me since i do finish it today so that's my plans for the rest of the sunday and also read a little bit of course i have now read the man who didn't call by rosie waltz which turned out to be a wonderful book it's a love story and i was a bit skeptical to begin with but what i really like about it is that it comes with so many twists and turns that I didn't see coming. I like that because that kept the story fresh and I wasn't able to really guess at the direction that things were going. So definitely something I appreciated about this book. I gave it four stars in the end. It's a wonderful love story but it's also a tragic story about family and guilt and 
thoughts that basically devastate you and ruin your life and your future so yeah definitely a great surprise and i'm thankful that my mother asked for me to read it because it is after all her book so here we have one of the most popular books of this year and i have to say i wasn't the biggest fan i felt like this story drags on for a bit too long it's very depressing and it's very unrealistic nevertheless i do see how it deals with some problems that we have in our world today when it comes to medication and how we grieve and how we try to revive ourselves and get out of this grief but I just didn't find it that fascinating. I mean, the premise was interesting, but I wasn't completely sold. So three stars it is. It's definitely worth a read. So if you are intrigued at all, definitely pick it up. I just was mildly disappointed. I finally got these two books from the library. I am curious to see if the book is as good or better than the movie. And also to dive into the second one. I have read The Light We Lost by Jill Santopolo, which is a book I was curious about because a lot of people like it. It's a love story and it's a tragic one, so know that to begin with. This one is about Lucy and Gabe who fall in love on 9-11 in New York and then their ways are separated. So this is basically Lucy's story told to Gabe. It's about her life and what happened to her afterwards. And it's beautiful it definitely is i gave it four stars and i'm very happy that i finally have my curiosity satisfied so i know what this book is about and i know why a lot of people seem to love it i have completely changed my mind about reading these books which i was going to binge read over christmas but yesterday i started reading love simon and i feel like it's way too close to having watched the movie so that it became too uninteresting i was able to remember almost every dialogue and i didn't enjoy it that much so i am not going to do that instead i think i'm just going to hand these back to the library and look forward to the second movie which i still haven't either read or watched naturally and then just enjoy the story through movie format and spend my time reading other books which are new stories to me can you see the coffee brewing in the background that's because it's Monday morning I'm about to go to work and I need my cup of coffee I probably shouldn't be filming right now because I'm exhausted and I am ready to go to bed but I have to mention this book I'm currently reading which has taken me by surprise The Night Watch by Sarah Waters I am almost halfway through it and the thing is that this book started out pretty ordinary in the way that nothing really happened but it was still so engrossing to read about different characters living in London just after the Second World War. But what has me fascinated is the fact that after a few chapters this book goes three years back in time and then we get to follow the character's story backwards so that things are more clear and it's just a very interesting and refreshing way to tell a story so i love this book already it's a great great read
Yesterday was Christmas Eve here in Denmark and I had a wonderful night with my family and now I'm getting ill. But what can you say? I'm still going strong and this morning in bed I actually finished the Night Watch by Sarah Waters and this is I think one of my favorite books by Sarah Waters if not my favorite because I really liked the story which I normally do with her books but also the ending which is often the point at which I do not like the book but this ending was great it wrapped things up beautifully I gave it four and a half stars it's not quite a five star read but it's still pretty damn good here's the proof that Zeus loves me he has shaped a freaking heart in his food today I had a haircut as you can see and I also finished what I think is going to be my last book of the year. I'm pretty sure that is. And that is the fourth book in the Mur Dublin Murder Squad series by Tana French. I like this book, but I will say that this has to be my least favorite in the series so far. I felt like the plot was a bit too unsatisfying and the main character was very brutal to begin with. We start off with this very pessimistic tone of voice which kind of scared me but that quickly disappears and that kind of disappointed me. So all in all it was still a really great read and I do love this series a lot but this one just didn't quite hook me as some of the other books in the series. And in case this is my last book of the year, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading vlog and until my next one in January, happy reading.